A saying known to all of us is that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. If that is the case, those of us who believe in the importance of marriage should be delighted that the Prime Minister, no less, wants those in civil partnerships to be married uh, is in itself an accolade, but we are not flattered. The reverse is true. We are worried and disappointed. Worried because an institution that has stood the test of time and is the building block of society is under threat. And disappointed that the government has taken upon itself to redefine the nature of marriage. But let me make it clear, clear as Colin has already said, that civil partnerships themselves are not at the heart of our objections. A few homosexual friends have actually said to me that they are uncomfortable that their situation is being exploited to challenge the traditional view of marriage. They perceive that when marriage as we understand it is challenged, so is the centrality of the family at the heart of our society because it's central to a web of relationship that include children, to say nothing of aunts, uncles, and grandparents. We are told by the government that there will be a public consultation in March, but it will not focus on whether marriage will be defined, but how it will be defined. The government has no mandate from the people to redefine marriage, and that is why we're gathered here today, we hope that they will think again. This matter is so serious and so important for our nation that we cannot allow this act of cultural and theological vandalism to happen.